What's going on YouTube? Holy shit, it's been a while. Um, so, I am really sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I wasn't sure how I was going to make this video or even if I was going to post the video about this. But I have some really, really big news that I'll be saving for hopefully the next video. But um, anyway, the big news is I might be joining the Army and being the second oldest man in Canada to join the Canadian Armed Forces, the Reserves. So, I'll talk about that in a different video. Today we're talking about drilling rigs and service rigs and getting you a job right now. So let's get to the point. If you want a job, I will get you a job today. You need your four certificates, you need the H2S Alive, you need your OSA confines or OSSA fall arrest. You need your St. John's uh, Advanced CPR, CPRC plus AED, and you need Wemis 2015. You only need your four certificates, and you can get a job with zero experience. If you want a job, I will get you hired today. All you need is those certificates and the ability to pass a piss test. So. Who wants a job? So, right now things are fucking nuts. Things are going ballistic. If you want work right now, man, you, you could not be in a big, better place as a new guy. No way you could be in a better place than you are today to get this, to get a job in this industry. Right now, I think oil is at like 75 or something like that. Oil goes to 100. I'm pretty sure we're going to see the average hourly wages go up for everything across the board. We've already seen a big bump in hourly wage uh, for floor hands. Um, for instance, uh, one of the service rigs companies right now, instead of paying 26, is paying 35 for a floor hand. 35, and that's without your competency. Um, what competency is, is uh, but like you go through a training manual and as you're going through the training manual your your tool push or driller will sign off on certain things that you, you've demonstrated that you've learned and once you've filled in the book basically you you've passed your competency and then I personally don't think there's a real huge benefit for a brand new guy to get your competency because most of the companies are gonna hire you have their own competency check like there is no competency equivalent of pay and, and and really there's no real financial gain to do it uh, apparently some of the companies are paying um, uh, competency bonus but I don't know I've never heard of anybody actually paying you extra because you had your competency so um, the bigger companies competency is going to mean make a big difference um, so that's where we're standing right now Next, uh, the drilling rigs right now are fucking going nuts. They, they, they just can't find the people. I mean, service rigs as well. Everybody is desperate for people. If anybody wants a job, get your four certificates, send me a message. I will get you hired within 15 minutes. Give me 15 minutes and I will get you a job making $10,000 a month. You need your four certificates and you need to be able to pass a piss test. So that means for all you potheads out there, stop today. It's probably going to take you 40 to 60 days to get out of your system if you're a heavy pot smoker. If you're a light pot smoker, probably 30 days, maybe 40 at the most. But if you're a very heavy chronic smoker, it could be up to two months to get out of your system. So, um, so the, the state of things right now are holy shit we need people holy shit the price of oil is probably going to break a hundred before spring holy shit we need people so who wants a job seriously i mean the only reason why you're here today hopefully is to learn how to get a job and to break into the to the field and i'm telling you i am going to help you get a job right now all you have to do is go out and get your four certificates. You're talking less than 250 bucks for all four. And uh, you get them done in less than three days. Your first aid course is two days. 
your H2S alive is a day. Um, the Wemis 2015 you can do online in about an hour. Uh, the OH, OSSA Fall Arrest is a full day course. But other than that, I mean, you're golden. If you have everything except your OSSA Fall Arrest, but you've got like your standard Fall Arrest from Ontario or for BC or Alberta or whatever, you're still good. You don't have to worry about it. But I would suggest if you don't have Fall Arrest, get your OSSA Fall Arrest. It will help. It won't make the difference between you getting the job or not. Frankly, people are so freaking desperate for guys that it's, you could not possibly be in a better situation today to get onto a drilling rig or service rig and start making $10,000 a month. If you want that, get out there, message me. I will get you fucking hired in 15 fucking minutes. People are that desperate. Now, keep in mind, you better be fucking strong. You better have a fucking heart of, like a fucking lion. If you're not strong enough, you better have a fucking heart to be able to get over that shit. Right? We're not talking about a job where people are going to pat you on the back and fucking tell you how great you're doing. Right? If anything, they're going to fucking push you, be rude, and be ignorant until they realize, okay, he's got thick enough skin, actually he might just fucking make it in this job. If you don't work out and you haven't done anything physical in the last couple years, I'm going to tell you, you're probably not going to make it more than a couple days. You're probably going to fail within a half day. You're just going to waste everyone's time. So if you haven't done anything heavy and very physical in the last two years, get off your ass, go get, go get, go work out, you know, start eating healthy. Start working out several times a day because it's going to make a fucking difference. And you're going to see how much of a difference when you get out there. It, it, you know, you're not going to believe the kind of shit that you're going to actually have to do. You, you're really, you're just going to, you're going to shake your head and go, don't they use lifts for this shit? Isn't there like a crane for that? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, I think there were 149 drilling rigs in Alberta last week, and I think there's, I don't even want to guess how many service rigs, probably four times that, maybe a little bit more, but anyway, who wants a job, I'll get you one right fucking now. So people have been asking me, how do you find these people who are looking for people? Well, the fact is, last year, when I got all my certificates, I applied to every service rig company, every drilling rig company. I mean, most of the drilling rigs I didn't apply to, but a couple I did. Um, but I applied to like 40 service rigs, companies. To this day, I still get calls every week or every month, at least one, at least one every month, maybe two or three, asking me if I want to come out and work right away so much so that when I said I was broke I had no money no vehicle out in Alberta they just said well get off the plane tell us when you're arriving we'll come pick you up bring you to camp and we'll take care of it there's not too many industries where that's possible but you have to make the first step you got to go and get those four certificates I can't help you if you don't if you are in the United States and you want a job, I could still help you. Um, you have to tell me what state you're in, but I could definitely tell you where to apply and who's hiring right now. Although I'm not in the States, I am very, very aware of most of the really big companies in Kingston or in Canada also working in the United States. A lot of these companies, especially in the drilling side, have crews also in the States. Now, if you want to make double what you could be making on a drilling rig or a service rig, I would get your passport and I would also get a work visa. Um, you'd have to go through the process with your employer, but making $35 an hour plus $100 a day per diem in American is a lot more than what you'd be getting at any other rig. A lot more. I mean, you're talking, you know, probably $15,000 a month American. So, 
guys, I made this channel so I could help people get jobs who've got no experience in an oil rig, or a service rig, or drilling rig, or a frack crew, or a coil tubing crew, anything. Who wants a job? If you're serious about getting into this field and you want a job, I will get you a job right now. you got to go get those four certificates. And unless you're in the United States or Canada, I can't help you if you're in India. I can't help you if you're in Pakistan or Aruba or anywhere else. So I'm sorry to those people who don't live in the United States or Canada. You have to actually be here before I can help you. So please don't say who's hiring when you're in Africa. I'm sorry, I'm not going to help you unless you're in Canada, alright? I'm sorry, but no, I'm not going to tell somebody that some guy from India who's, you know, got petroleum engineering certificate and who's, you know, been on a service rig in India for a couple of years, I'm not going to help you get a job. Either you're in Canada or United States now looking for a job, I'll help, I'll do whatever I can, but if you're not in Canada or the United States, I'm not going to help you get a job because nobody's going to hire you. You have to actually be in Canada to get hired. So, I appreciate your time. Hopefully there's something I said here that you can take home with you. The most important thing is who the fuck wants to work? Who wants a job? You want to make six to $10,000 a month with no experience your first month? then fucking message me, tell me, get your certificates, message me, I will get you hired in 15 minutes or less. So, thank you very much for watching the video and I apologize that this has taken so long to, to come about, but uh, I wasn't even gonna mention anything about the Army, but I'll mention it once I pass my the last of my paperwork. So. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please, guys, it really, 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 really fucking helps. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Stay positive. Stay healthy. Stay fit. Stay alive. Love you. Bye-bye.